Last week, Dr. Saul Perlmutter, a professor and scientist at Lawrence Berkeley Labs, became UC Berkeley's ninth Nobel laureate in the field of physics. He shares his prize with Adam Rice of John Hopkins University and Brian Schmidt of Australian National University. CalTV spoke with him about winning the Nobel Prize. Congratulations on your Nobel Prize. Um, was it something you expected, or were you taken by surprise of this? Well, nobody really expects a, a call mm -hmm. in the morning for a Nobel Prize. The, the, the work itself, though, was something that was so much fun to talk about and to explain to people that, of course, people were always saying, oh, there should be a Nobel, Nobel Prize in that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, of course, you dismiss it you know, until, uh, until you know, in the middle of the night when the phone rings. Mm -hmm. Professor Perlmutter heads the Supernova Cosmology Project, where he works with his team to understand the role of dark energy in the expansion of the universe. By now, the study of dark energy has really become one of the main efforts of the whole cosmology community. In addition to his study, Dr. Perlmutter is working with NASA to create the first space-based observatory to understand dark energy. So we ended up uh, working um, with a large collaboration of uh, you know, several hundred people um, developing the possibility of a space telescope that could use new techniques to measure the history of the expansion of the universe and new techniques to measure uh, how the behavior of this dark energy explains um, the different possible ways in which the universe could be accelerating. Mm -hmm. We don't know yet um, whether we'll be able to get to build that satellite. Right now it's still um, going through different committees, um, but there is a version of it that's being uh, just been approved in Europe. In fact, the same day as the announcement of the Nobel Prize, um, they announced that, that the European version looks like it's going to go ahead. Do you think that that would possibly um, give in more insight about dark energy or just like add more to your own study that, you're, that you did? If these satellites uh, go ahead, or if, if this one in Europe goes ahead, um, we're very optimistic that we'll get data that will allow us to start to distinguish the possible explanations. What he once thought would be a three-year study resulted in a decade's worth of research that won him the Nobel Prize. Professor Perlmutter expects the study to extend itself for another 10 years. This particular project was a very difficult one to get started. In fact, you know, the, uh, at the time, there was a lot of criticism that uh, they were suggesting to our funding sources that it didn't make sense to fund the project at all. And it's a good example of the kind of thing where if you take on a very ambitious project, you, you may know that it's going to be a hard project, but you have no idea how hard it really will turn out to be until you actually try. Mm -hmm. And that's good, because you um, would never take on an ambitious project like this. Um, we thought it was going to take three years to do. It ended up taking 10 years. Mm -hmm. I don't think we would have started it if we thought it was going to be a 10-year project. Mm -hmm. And yet, nobody's disappointed. I mean, we were, obviously, we felt very happy um, that we were kept going and that there were all these encouragements along the way. And I'm expecting that it'll take, uh, could easily take the next 10 years um, mm -hmm. to get to that next step of, uh, of our understanding. Professor Perlmutter now shares a benefit that only a few faculty members can enjoy, a coveted Nobel laureate parking permit. Well, of course, uh, you know, when, when you're told that you, you get your own parking space, you, uh -huh. you realize that now it's really worthwhile. Uh, most people don't, uh, don't know how hard it is to find parking at mm -hmm. Berkeley. A committed professor and a brilliant scientist, Dr. Saul Perlmutter, will keep contributing to the field of astrophysics and the Cal community at large. But as for now, he's preparing with his two colleagues to go for their award ceremony in Sweden two months from now. Reporting for Cal TV, this is Raji Ramanathan.